What's up guys? Welcome back. Here we are again. Uh, today we're going to explore a little something different. Uh, we're actually going to explore double exposure photography. I haven't done it yet. I kind of tested it out this morning, um, but pretty much it doesn't seem too hard, but I so far what I'm noticing is is I do think that you need to start off with either a complete not a complete dark background or a complete white background, but you definitely want a neutral first shot. So that way when you're layering in your next shot, uh, you can kind of see it a little bit better. You're, you're able to compose and frame that next shot. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna dive into that. Um, and mainly I'm talking about double exposure photography when it comes to in-camera double exposure. I do know that there's people out there who double expose their photos in post. If your camera, like mine, has the ability to do it in camera, I'm going to show you the settings on exactly what it is you're going to go for. And then next is can your camera actually do multiple exposure? So for instance, my Canon EOS R can do multiple exposure photography. So that doesn't just mean double. I can also do triple. I can do four times double exposure. Uh, I honestly don't know how high I can go in terms of the exposure. I went up to six, but I didn't want to keep pressing because I th thought that was insane. But essentially, you can make a collage of photos in camera, which is kind of cool. Uh, I really haven't seen that kind of photography just yet. I definitely have seen double exposure photography, um, especially lately. A lot of people have been doing it in quarantine. Um, it's definitely one of those um, Pinterest, uh, Instagram eye catchers, right? And I think that uh, we're going to have a lot of fun today. So let's see uh, what we can do with the uh, triple and four time exposure. Let's go ahead and dive into that. It'll be a nice quick one. So hard to see As you're going through the menus here on the camera, you should see the multiple exposure option, and then you can kind of play around with how you want it to layer over. If you want it to be an additive layer, if you want it to be an average layer, a brightened layer, or a dark layer. And these are layers that we normally see when we go into Photoshop. It's part of the blending modes, right? And so the, the mode that you pick is how it's gonna blend in with your first frame that you chose. And so I think that that's really important. Um, and kind of play around with it. You know, I played with the dark, the brighten, and the average. Uh, the additive was okay, but the average mode seemed to be the mode that worked best for me. So far, I'm kind of okay with the, uh, the photos that came out. Uh, you know, I was trying to go with something a little different there. Um, especially with the whole Yoda cup um, because the Mandalorian came out today so excited love the Mandalorian so for all you Star Wars fans um, hopefully you enjoyed that <laughs> uh, but yeah I I enjoyed making that picture I will say that but overall the way that the picture came out I'm not sure if I'm entirely happy with it uh, it's a super rainy day right now so really want to go outside not none of my lenses are weather sealed so I can't afford to go outside and shoot uh, in the rain right now but um, you know I, I had fun doing it and I think that that's what's most important about photography is having fun uh, trying out different things and uh, exploring and yeah just have fun with it you know that's uh that's what I did and uh, I'm pretty happy let me know what your thoughts are maybe maybe uh, you know dark mode is actually an easier way to get the correct blending or maybe not so much correct but a uh, better blending mode so yeah leave a comment below let me know what worked for you and uh, yeah, guys, uh, hopefully I get to keep making more videos like this. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, um, and tell me what else you guys want to see. 
you know, I'm open to exploring all kinds of photography. Uh, I, I'm really just getting in this world. I want to learn more. I want to consume as much knowledge as I can about the craft and, uh, you know, be a better photographer at the end of the day and have fun. Again, like I said earlier, you know, it's all about having fun. And I hope that you guys learned something from this. If you did, great. Let me know. If you didn't, still let me know and maybe I can help you out or, you know, maybe we can help each other out. Um, so yeah, guys, hopefully, uh, I know this was a short one, but hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.